Kevin, final game of the season, and um, I mean, fortunately, obviously, uh, Torquay is safe, but there's a lot hanging on this game for uh, for Geisley. There is, yeah, um, and, and I'm glad of that. I'm glad that it's going to be an atmosphere there. Um, whether that's going to be a good one or not, I mean, there's obviously going to be a lot of tension going through them. Um, but we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our fans that I know are going up there in great numbers and great fancy dress by the sound of it, um, to make sure we go there and, and, and do everything that we can to win the game. Um, you know, it's, it's right and proper to do that for teams like Halifax and Boreham, uh, to make sure that we go there and we take this game as another one that we want to win. We can finish two places higher, if I remember rightly, and I would like to do that. So the higher we go at this league, the better. And um, the lads have got to show me, like they did against Barrow, that they can go out with no pressure on them and still perform. You know, when you know what's at stake for them, that isn't necessarily at stake for you. It's just the pride and, and wanting to do well. well. It's a great position to be in, really, because you've got the freedom to play. And you see it this time, uh, this time of year, you get some strange results and you get some strange performances. I mean, as it happened, us against Barrow last week, neither team with anything to play for, put on a good show. And, and everybody was full on, 100% committed to everything that they did. You also get teams that fall apart and go on bad runs because they've just lost that will. And then you also get teams that play the best football they've played all season, someone like a Macclesfield, I think, have done it lately, where the, there's no pressure on them and all of a sudden the game becomes easy. So it's a tough one to read, but from my point of view, we're going there to win the game, end of story. Uh, and you'll come up against the Enigma, which is James Hurst. We may do or we may not, but um, yeah, he's uh, not my player, so I'm not going to say too much. Okay, uh, what, what are you expecting from them? How, how, I mean, if it was you, how would you approach the game under these circumstances? Well, they've got to go for it. They've got to beat us, end of story. Um, so I'd expect them to come out at high tempo. I'd expect them to try and get on the front foot and have a go at us. And we've got to match that. And then we've got to go and let our football do the talking. And if we do that, we'll, we'll give anyone a game, like we've shown. Um, we need to finish the season on a high. That's what I expect of them. That's what I expect of my lads. And um, you know, it's, it's like I say, I'm glad. I'm glad there's something on it. I'm glad there's going to be a tempo to it. I'm glad there's a meaning. And um, and, I, and I want to go there. And I'm not saying I want to put Geisley down, but I certainly want to win the game, which that will be the consequences of it. Uh, Fitness-wise, how are you looking? Uh, one or two knocks, one or two little bits. I, I'm not sure if he's going to be right. Um, one or two lads that I think um, a few knocks that when you're that pumped up like we were three or four weeks ago they could probably get by because they didn't realise they were there I think now the adrenaline's died down a little bit there's one or two of them have got sore bodies but um, we were almost fully fit Nathan Smith isn't going to be right um, but we're probably only a couple short Would you imagine we've probably seen the last of Nathan in the yellow shirt then? Well, probably. Um, you know, if I was Port Vale and I've sent a lot out on loan for a year and he's got Player of the Year, um, two Player of the Year awards, I don't think I'd be sending him out very quickly the following year. I'd want to have a good look at him. So, um, you know, he's, he's done well. It's been a very much a success story. I was talking the other day to the chairman. Generally, I'm not that keen on loan players because there's a, a lack of buy in because they know they can always go back to their home club. Now, credit to everybody that we've had on loan, particularly the long-term loans that we've finished the season with, all of them have become a talky player. You know, the fact that Smudge went and stood in the stands with the, the fans at a couple of the games um, speaks volumes about his character, but it also speaks volumes about these loan players. You know, Verma, Reese, Andre, you know, the, the level of work that they've put in. The, the, you know, Brendan was only here for a short time as the goalkeeper but he just well and truly hit the ground and became a goal and um, that's quite rare because I think there's always an out when you're a lone player if your attitude isn't absolutely bang on there's always that well I'm not really a talky player so if it goes wrong I can always go back to them none of them none of them took that excuse none of them took that way out and, and I can only thank them for that and, and it's a credit to them as people and professionals that they managed to do that but um, yeah generally loans can be a bit of a, uh, a dodgy one well, you're talking. Is Brendan still down? Brendan's down here now. Yeah, he'll be. He, well, he'll probably be going up there and uh, meeting us at the hotel tomorrow. Um, and, and obviously, he's got to sort out his future, find out where that lies in terms of his, his parent club at Fleetwood. Um, and, and we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, and obviously, this takeover's been 
bubbling away in the background. Uh, bearing in mind it's the end of the season on Saturday, people include yourself need to know what's happening. Uh, do we have any time scales? Have you been told anything as of yet? No, I've, I've met with them. Um, you know, they, they seem a good bunch. They seem to have similar ideas to what I want for this club going forward. Uh, it just comes down to now they're going to come back to me and try and sort my future out and give me a budget to work with and then and I want to be sitting with these players Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week and giving them a clear indication of, uh, of what I can offer them and, and what we're going to be doing going forward next year because they've put a lot of work in it and it would be a shame to throw that all out the window now. Some of these guys are going to be back and, uh, and have a lot to play for next season and so um, the time scale is as soon as possible because the sooner we get everybody tied down and, and uh, add the two or three that we'd want to add, the sooner we can just concentrate on everybody getting fit, fitter, because I don't think you can ever be fit enough over the summer, and then uh, come back and, and get ready to go again.